let's go through this game. Yeah. There we were, Benny. This was too passive. Maybe we could have mated the red. Bishop there. Check. In over. Check. Oh, so close. Yeah, this was winning. Yeah, but I should not capture that. No, this was bad. I should have done my original intention, which was to push L6. Yeah. It's still interesting. Probably that trick shouldn't have been captured. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, I started running. Can he avoid this? Probably not. Uh huh. So maybe if he just saves his bishop, it's better. Not giving up anything. Yeah. Was development wrong? <laughs> Maybe you should have played bishop here. Bishop k6 takes the bishop. Yeah. Hmm. This was a horrible move. I mean, what the heck is that? He activated the rook for free. I mean, this move is so horrible. Please develop. Rook over, for instance, is much better. This knight should not move. Or just push the pawn. I mean, push the pawn, these pieces are dead. Yeah, this was bad. What? I could take the knight there. Oh my god. I'm blind. What if I take the knight? Take, take. Yeah, I should have taken the knight. Instead I got the rook. Take the knight here, much better. If I take the bishop... Yeah, this was a blunder. Uh, he should just play check. And I think we are still fine. And this blunders the game. And somehow we managed to come back from this.
We actually have equal material, but they have all the active play. I mean, yellow is always almost mating him. But in fact, around here, I felt confident. It's not clear that we're worse anymore because I have a piece and red does not. Yeah, and here I flagged, which was unfortunate. I think we regained the advantage here. I mean, let's say place rook c5, I check, take the pawn, he checks and goes behind, then his bishop is hanging. Yeah, I think we're winning here. Oh well, thanks for watching.